host your boy Bruni and Frog. And today we have a a plate of four chocolate chip cookies behind us. Oh, let me get me. Can I can I eat them? Not until we discuss the inventor. Uh, wait, wait, but they're right there. Should I can I eat them right now? Anyways, the inventor <sighs> is none other than a lady who went, who owned the Toll House Inn. You know, she owned the what? Toll House Inn in Whitman, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. And this this lady's name is what? Ruth Wakefield. Ruth Wakefield. Ruth Ruth Wakefield. Yeah. Not Ruth Toll House. No. Yeah, it's Ruth Wakefield. Oh, Ruth Wakefield. And why why is she important? She invented the chocolate chip cookie. She invented these chocolate cookies that we are going to eat right now. Yep. Oh, well, tell me, tell me about Ruth Wakefield because I am hungry. Well, your wish will come true today. I'm gonna eat these while you're talking. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk. Let's go and di- and deep dive into the history of Ruth Wakefield. Okay. Let's go. So, if you want to know more about Ruth about how she started cooking, we're gonna have to travel back to the time of her childhood. She loved helping her make her grandma's uh, dishes. Mm. So, as usual, she'd help with the family dishes. That eventually led her to the toy, to to a restaurant she opened in 1930 called the Toll House Inn. Wait, wait. she she owned she owned, she owned the restaurant. Yep, for oh. 36 years. Oh, okay. from 1930 to 1966. Wow, that's a long, that's an awful long time. Go ahead, buddy. Back then, the, um, the 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 restaurant only had five tables, so they increased it to 10, 20, 40, 60, 75, and later, 90. That could serve up to 450 guests at a time. That's a lot of people. And 200, around 1,000 to 200, 2,000 guests per day. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Per day. That is crazy. Anyways, one day, one fine day... They create, um, um, Wakefield was in the kitchen, um, making some cookies. She, um, making for a usual dish, um, cookie, one I, of her famous cookies. I have one cookies. quick, one, one quick, 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 one quick question. Yeah? When was this that she made, the, when she, she created the chocolate chip cookies? Uh, probably before 1939. Okay. Anyways, as I was saying. She was cooking um cookies. She thought the cookies were real. Um, when she was cooking a a cookie, she had a problem. One, she th- when she was in the oven, she thought that there were no that the chunks were gonna lose shape. Instead, they kept it. And people um people thought the chocolate was hard. But when someone else tried it, it wasn't hard at all. It was soft and gooey, like those chocolate chips, or chocolate chip cookies over there. Uh, ooh, that reminds me. Can, can we eat now, or are we are you still talking? We're still talking. Dang. Okay. Anyways, so when people let it led to a new cookie called chocolate crunch, and when we get. Hit the end of this video, we're going to show some videos of Ruth Wakefield and her chocolate chip cookies. So anyways, before we had the Nestle dough that made this, we have semi we had semi-sweet bars that were broken up into bits and the chocolate chips, which would soon be invented soon. And during World War II, yeah, that's right. World War II they went in the forties. Yep, nineteen thirty nine. Um, United States entered in nineteen um forty one. She um she mailed her cookies to to the U.S. soldiers that were fighting to make them feel that taste at home. Twenty five years later, she ended up retired. She ended up selling with her husband Kenneth, and in nineteen ninety seven. 
Nearly 20 years after her death, Massachusetts Governor, who I don't know his name, um, made, made chocolate chip cookie an official cookie of the whole state. And that's the story of Ruth Wakefield and her chocolate chip cookies. Thanks for, jo thanks for joining us today now, on, our, on this adventure. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. Now you know the history of Ruth Wakefield. Now that we know about Ruth Wakefield. Now can we eat the cookies? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Hey, we're going to eat the cookies, guys. We'll put some photos. But anyways, see you guys in the next episode of Fun Facts with the Stuffy Comedy Crew. Hey, you did, you did pretty good, my friend. It's real good. See ya, everyone. Bye. <laughs>